For today's video, we're going to take a look at everything that was in the home base status report, which came out a couple of days ago. And I'll leave a link to the home base status report in the description if you want to go check it out. And this one's sort of a roadmap because it shows us what to expect over the next few weeks. And I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time over everything we got this week because I've already reviewed most of it. But we got tank this week and you'll be able to get tank from the event store and i'll leave the tank gameplay in the description if you want to go check it out we also got the shark attack explosive weapon and i'll leave a link to that gameplay in the description as well and you'll be able to get the shark attack from the very last quest on the season hauntings quest line and the pop shot shotgun is currently available as a reward from the merry mangler frost knight quest it sort of reminds me of the husk buster and they also mentioned that Santa's Little Helper is going to be available this week. And we've already reviewed that one as well. So I'll leave a link to all of those gameplays in the description. Anyways, as for next week, we're going to get the new Monks Ninja. And the Monks standard perk is called Monkey in Around. And it makes your Kunai Storm throw six banana peels that last for eight seconds and knock down and stun enemies for 2.3 seconds. And Monks Commander perk makes your Kunai Storm throw 15 banana peels that last for eight seconds. And it also knocks down and stun enemies for 2.3 seconds, and it also deals 12 base damage. And I assume she's going to be available in either the event or weekly store. The Coco 45 will also be returning this week, and this is going to be available in the weekly store. And this one shoots projectiles that bounce off of walls. Uh, if I had to compare it to any other gun, I would say it's very similar to the Whisper 45. And next week we're going to get another Frost Knight challenge, and the reward for that one is going to be the Ice King Constructor who is a really good constructor, and if you have a chance to get them, I would definitely recommend that you do. And for the week after next, we're going to get the 11.31 content update number 3. And with this one, Sub-Zero Zenith is going to be returning, and we've already gotten gameplay with him as well. And since Sub-Zero Zenith is a mythic, you'll also get the Shake It Off team perk once you get them, because you get a team perk with every mythic. And this is the one you get from Sub-Zero Zenith. And the new Compression Burster, which is the Hydraulic Bow, will be available in the weekly store from January the 8th to January the 15th. And the description that came with the bow says, Knock back the husk with the new Hydraulic Bow. Gains more damage, range, and velocity the longer you charge up your shot. And not only is the Hydraulic Bow going to be available, but the Vendor Tag Seeker will also be available that week as well. And you'll be able to get this one as a reward from the Toasty Frost Knight Challenge. And the description that came with this one says it fires a single arrow that drops over time. Damage range and velocity increase with charge time. And keeping the bow drawn past max charge will spawn additional homing arrows. They also mentioned how Save the World is going to continue being on sale until January the 17th. And this sums up everything you can expect to see over the next two weeks. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about the new bows as well as monks. The new monkey ninja. But yeah, this sums up everything I wanted to go over for this one. Hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.